Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are fit and healthy. We are doing chapter 13 ways to multiply and divide. In my last video, I already completed this chapter till question number 7. So today I am going to start and explain you question number 8. Concentrate here student. Details of salary for one day of workers in a factory are given below. This is a worker salary. Salary for only one day. Answer the question based on it. We have to give the answer of this question based on this salary. One year is equal to 365 days. One year is equal to here is given 365 days. Okay. So first we can see here workers. Manager. Manager salary for one day. 990. Assistant manager. 530 supervisor 420 labor 310 and security guard 150 this is the salary of per day salary okay now we are going to read and explain the question see the question number one calculate the salary of the manager for the month of march we have to calculate the salary of manager month of march so first see the salary of manager per day manager per day salary or one day salary is 990 and here we have to write number of the working days number of the working days march so march all the march have the 31 day march mein kitne din hote 31 days manager salary for one day or per day you can write 990 so what we have to do Manager salary multiply with days, days of March. So 990 multiply with 31. Do the multiplication with the method of different multiplication method, or if you can do the direct method, you can get the same answer. So 31, 31. So 30 plus 1, 990 multiply with 30. This then 990 multiply with 1. Second line. Then multiply this two and then add. And you will get 30,690. So, salary of manager for the month of March is 30,690 rupees. Now, see the question number 2. Sell, calculate the salary of assistant manager for the month of July. So, number of the working days. Number of the working day 31st. Because 31 is a July. July me kitne mene hote? Kitne din hote? 31. Assistant manager salary of one day. One day or per day. Assistant manager salary according to your book. According to your question is 530. So, this two we have to do the multiply. Multiply with this method. 530 multiply with 31. 30 plus 1. So, 530 multiply with 30. First line. Do the multiplies. You will get 15,900. 530 multiply with 1. So do the multiply. You will get 530. Add this to. You will get the answer. 16,430. So the salary of assistant manager of July month is 16,430 rupees. This is the salary of assistant manager month of July. Now see the question number 3. And come on page number 181. Your workbook. What is the salary of supervisor for first four months? First four months. So number of working days. So first four months means January, February, March and April. January 31 days. February 28 days. March 31 and April 30. Here February you have to write 28 because this is the not a leap year. In your question, there is explain you this is the 365 days. So, this is not leap year. So, you have to write 28. So, 8 add January 31, February 28, March 31, April 30. Add all this day, you will get here 120 days. Supervisor salary of one day or per day. Supervisor salary according to your question is 420 rupees. So, multiply this two. 420 multiply with 120. 100 plus 20 plus 0. So, 420 multiply with 100. First line, you will get 4, 42,000. 420 multiply with 20. Second line, 
8400 and this is 0 so leave this line plus add all this this to 50400 you will get the answer so 4 months salary of supervisor is 50400 rupees four number what is the salary of labor for 180 days so here is given the day to number of working day is 180 labor sal salary labor salary of one day or per day according to your question is 310 rupees so 310 multiply with 180 here you have to write 100 plus 80 plus 0 then 310 multiply with 100 First line, you will get 31,000. Then 310 multiply with 80. Second line, 24,800. Zero, so leave the third line. Add this to, you will get 55,800. So, therefore, 180 days salary of a labor, a labor is 55,800 rupees. A labor ka labor ka salary hai 180 days ka hai 55,800 rupee. Now see the 5 number. Calculate the annual salary of a security guard. Annual salary means year salary. Number of a annual salary. Annual salary of a security guard. Number of a salary of security guard. Annual that means here is explained in your question. This is the year of 365. So annual means a year. So a year means 365 days. Security guard one day salary is 150 according to your question. So these two we have to do the multiply again. Multiply with different method. 365 multiply with 150. 100 plus 50 plus 0. Then after 365 multiply with 100, first line you will get 36,500. 365 multiply with 50, second line 18,250. 0. 365 multiply with 0, it will come 0. So leave the third line. And add this to you will get 54,650. Therefore, annual salary or year salary, you can write annual salary of a security guard is 54,750 rupees. So, the annual salary is 54,750. Here is your answer. Now, see the last and sixth number. Here is given, here is asking, what is the salary of manager for last three months? So, last three months of this, of the year. So, number of working days is last three months is student, October, November and December. Year ka last three months kya hote hai? October, November and December. So, days, October mein 31 days, November 30 and December is 31 days. Add this three. 31 plus 30 plus 31, 92 days. So, number of working days is 92 days. Manager salary of one day. One day manager salary is 990 rupees. According to your question, this is. So, now 990 salary multiply with days, 92. Here you have to write. 990 multiply with 92. 92 that means 90 plus 2. Now you have to do 990 multiply with 90. Here you have to write on a first line. Multiply with this 2 you will get 89,100. In a second line 990 multiply with 2. Second line multiply this 2 you will get 1980. Now plus add this to 89,100 add with 1,980 you will get 91,080. So therefore 3 months salary of a manager is 91,080 rupees. So 3 ka salary last 3 months salary. Okay, This is the last 3 months salary of a manager is 91,080 rupees. So here student, first you have to find out the working days, number of working days in all questions. Then after per day salary, you have to do this to multiply, you will get the 
answer and multiply do the multiplication with different method this method okay this you have to follow so my dear student hope you all understood question number 8 complete your workbook practice it.